Sentence Clapper avoids perjury charges after five years of inaction from DOJ by Christina Layla for thegatewaypundit.com. Former Intel Chief uh, James Clapper has avoided perjury charges even though he admitted to lying to Congress about his surveillance testimony. Thanks to five years of inaction by the Justice Department, the criminal statutes that cover lying to Congress with five-year limitations has run out. The Washington Examiner reported former intelligence chief James Clapper is poised to avoid charges for allegedly lying to Congress after five years of apparent inaction by the Justice Department. Clapper, Director of National Intelligence from 2010 to 2017, admitted giving clearly erroneous testimony about mass surveillance in March of 2013 and offered differing explanations for why. Two criminal statutes that cover lying to Congress have five-year statutes of limitations. Establishing a Monday deadline to charge Clapper who in retirement has emerged as a leading critic of President Trump. The under oath untruth was exposed by National Security Agency contractor Edward Snowden, who sparked national debate on uh, surveillance policy with leaks to the press. Many members of Congress, mostly Republicans, supportive of new limits on electronic surveillance, called for Clapper to be prosecuted as the deadline neared, saying unpunished perjury jeopardizes the ability of Congress to perform oversight. Representative Tom, Thomas Massey had some harsh words for Clapper. Massey tweeted, he admitted to lying to Congress and was unremorseful and flippant about it. The integrity of our federal government is at stake because his behavior sets the standard for the entire intelligence community. You think? Clapper's damning testimony occurred on March 12, 2013, wherein he told Senator Ron Wyden, no sir, and not wittingly, when asked if the NSA was collecting any type of data at all on millions of Americans. James Clapper never corrected the record, according to Senator Wyden. A few months later, whistleblower Edward Snowden busted James Clapper. Via the Washington Examiner, months later, Snowden revealed in June of 2013 that the U.S. intelligence community obtained secret court orders forcing phone companies to turn over millions of U.S. call records on an ongoing daily basis. Clapper offered at least two different explanations for his inaccurate testimony in June of 2013. Apology letter, Clapper wrote that he gave the clearly erroneous answer because he simply didn't think of the call record collection. But in an MSNBC interview the same month, he said he chose to give the least untruthful answer because he was asked a when are you going to stop beating your wife kind of question, meaning not answerable necessarily by a simple yes or no. James Clapper blatantly lied to Congress, admitted it, and got away with it. Clapper regularly attacks President Trump in media interviews. Media psychophants treat Clapper like royalty. Liberals push Clapper onto the public as if he's a beacon of truth. It's truly disgusting to watch. Clapper escaping perjury charges is further proof there are a separate set of laws for people in high levels of government. So true. And uh, here he, he would uh, be lying, but we already know he lied. So there you have it. He's off the hook as of uh, uh, Monday night, I guess, you know? It's disgraceful. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.